Hello. Thank you for finding my video again. All right. I'm going to, now I'm down to the last corner bracket. Um, actually, did a lot of work since our last uh, video. Um, this is actually the second piece. Um, I already have the other side uh, built, and the next step is, is going to be finishing off the brackets, uh, the latches, um, uh, between the two boxes. Okay, so here's the last rivet. Remember our backup washer. Did a good job of not forgetting backup washers while I was off video. On video, a little, a little different. These are the top latches already on the box. Left that one so we could do it on the video. Uh, what I have done is uh, I measured these out. Um, keep in mind when you're measuring the top and bottom latch, they are different lengths. And so one's going to require a shorter cut. One's, the other side is going to require a higher cut. Keep in mind, part of your measurement is the lip of your top aluminum, your your notched aluminum. Uh, so it's not you're not lining it up with the wood itself. Okay, you are lining it up with the notched aluminum, the base of the notched aluminum. Keep that in mind when lining these up. So I was I was very concerned about my latches lining up. So what I did is. Um, I measured and cut uh, each side to the same dimensions, top piece to the bottom piece. Makes sense, right? Well, I call one side A, I call one side B. A for the top and bottom, I'm pointing to it, it's just off camera. Uh, I, I made the measurements the same. On the B side, I made the measurements the same because I wanted these to line up as much as possible. Let me grab that piece. I wanted to keep this last piece to do it on camera. Now, before I started latching all this down, before I started putting the final uh, angle brackets on, you're going to notice that these angle brackets are different. These uh, corner brackets are different than these top ones. Uh, these are notched, and they're notching in between the, the aluminums on the, on the actual sides, on the actual ends. So, I put this all together, set it on top before finalizing these so they're resting evenly all the way around. Um, had to take uh, some of these off right here before riveting, taking these off right here, shim them down just a hair because you want this to be able to move around just a little bit before riveting it on. Okay, you notice I haven't riveted this yet, so that's going to require a backup washer. And with a close like this, I can't put the backup washer on. But, see it lined up pretty good. Well, let's set this in. Let's see if it's, if, it's, see if it's sitting there good. And I would say it's sitting there pretty good. Okay. So what I need to do is now drill the wood and the aluminum together. Then I could put these two rivets in, open the box, and finalize. Other side's already done. Okay.
Rumor is this entire project is 500 rivets. I'll find out at the end. Anyways. These guys on. Make sure it's, it lines up good. It does. require a backup washer. Okay. So by having the two boxes together allows you to have your Yours, your your slot to line up evenly all the way around, so you can make those final little tweaks to make it to make it plumb. If that's the right uh, carpentry term, um, you want that to be plumb so it fits together uh, easily, and then you clamp it together the rest of the way to keep the apparatus together. All right, I'm gonna take this off and finish this up. Okay, so all these require backup washers, all of them. on different pieces of our of our photo. This here is just the two boxes and the customization starts with uh, the size of your monitors and the size of your light and your your back door. photo booth box that clamps together, it, it, it's, it's just a road case, keep that in mind. And that's why the road case videos are the videos that get you started. My next set of videos will be basically the construction of the photo booth configuration, which I have not seen a video for. You know, I have seen some videos, um, but they're different types of cases. Uh, they're not the road case style. Uh, they may call themselves a road case style, but I don't. Uh, I call it a road case style when you're having the latches and you're clamping boxes together and whatnot. To me, that is a road case style. A lot of the ones I've seen built are just boxes glued together, you know. And you need to present a good piece of equipment if you want to have a successful business. And I feel the road case style is one of the better ones. There are some ones that are very, very nice, very, very professional. A lot more high end. This is pretty high end to me. All right. This is now done. Now we're going to get into the customizations of the actual booth itself. Uh, before finishing this, um, I want everyone to keep in mind that uh, patience is a virtue. And you rush one piece, you run rush, you rush one corner, you're you're very apt to make a mistake, and then you got to back up and start over again. And uh, <laughs> I made a couple of those. So keep that in mind. Uh, Therefore, you can make less mistakes and, and not have to redo as much and or uh, go back into the pocket for more money to buy more material. So, I'm going to stop it here and the next step is going to be customizations.